Integration of field devices in a network can be a tedious and frustrating task. Often this means dealing with confusing data structures and bad user interfaces. Let's find out how you can simplify this process using our products. Hi, my name is Nandini Mungi. I'm a product manager at Birkut. I will show you how easily devices can be integrated into a Rockwell environment using add-on profiles, also known as AOPs. With the help of a few Birkut devices connected in an Ethernet IP network, I will demonstrate the integration using the Rockwell Logics Designer tool. One such device is the Valve Island Type 8652, which has several Valve units with integrated digital inputs. Each valve unit is equipped with a display to show valve switching states and some other diagnostic data. Another device in our setup is the process controller Type 8693. In addition to the positioner functionality, you can also connect an analog sensor to it and use it as a controller. Add-on profiles save valuable time during commissioning. Through well-structured device tags and menus, the configuration time is reduced immensely. In fact, you can configure devices offline and within seconds transfer this configuration to other devices using an AOP. Let's take a closer look at the latest AOPs from Birkut. Here we see the Rockwell Studio 5000. Once you've started your project, you can add the valve violin to it. The first step is to assign a name and the right IP address for the device. To configure the valve island, you need to define the number of valve units and define the number of pressure sensors. Here you can see the entire valve island divided into different valve units. The different settings for individual units can be either done with the wizard or individually for each valve unit. With the wizard settings for the fault handling behavior of the valve island, the limits for the switching cycle counters, and the feedback settings can be done. The settings for feedback signals, pressure sensors, and other diagnostic functions are all available right here. Now let's take a look at the AOP for the process controller type 8693. Here you can see that the settings are divided for the positioner and the process controller in the AOP. Even the essential X-Tune can be started directly from here. After the X-Tune has started, the device status can be monitored easily from here as well. Under the tab General Settings, the analog sensor for the process controller can be configured as well. Here you can select the 4 to 20 milliamp sensor and configure further settings for it. After these examples, I think it's safe to say that AOPs are real time savers during commissioning and configuration of field devices. Together with Rockwell, we develop AOPs to enhance your user experience. Whether you're an end user, an OEM, or an integrator, you can greatly benefit from AOPs for Birkut products.